to the video version of Saturday Stumpus, uh, which honestly might be renamed Sunday Stumpus. So for people that are not longtime readers of the original blog, Saturday Stumpus, uh, I um, personally, as a solver, has solved, you know, maybe a few Saturday difficulty puzzles in my life, probably around three. Um, and those are supposedly the hardest puzzles of the week. Um, and Sunday puzzles are supposed to be a bit easier, but uh, simply larger. Um, but I've actually never solved a Sunday in my life. Um, I generally get stuck somewhere um, in the middle and sort of give up. Uh, there are a lot of chances to find yourself stuck in a Sunday puzzle, even if it is on the whole easier. So. I'm hoping um, to start off with a bang and, and get my first ever Sunday solve recorded on video as a start to an extremely uh, successful YouTube channel. I'm, I'm hoping for at least three views on this video. Um, I am gonna set sort of a hard stop for myself of around an hour. Um, so if I don't get it within an hour and there's like no hope of me finishing it within the next like five minutes or something, I'll probably just end it there and consider it a failure. So speed is the name of the game <laughs> in relative terms uh, as we get into this. So let's go and try to solve this Sunday. I'm gonna start just by doing all of the crosses first, um, just looking through them. Maybe I'll take a peek at some of the downs, um, but in general, I just wanna make sure I see every single clue uh, rather than just try to rush through it. Okay, so starting off my Winter Olympics knowledge isn't very strong, especially um, Winter Olympics that were decades before I was born. But if I think about wintry countries or wintry uh, capitals, this could be something like Oslo, just thinking of four letter things. So already I'm just gonna take a peek at the down to see if um, this lines up. And in fact, it does. So a classic crosswordies word, something crosswordies being words that show up much more often in crosswords than they do in real life would be orbs. So suns are, you know, spherical, so they are orbs. All right, um, scram. In, in quotation marks, that means that it's looking for something that is an equivalent expression to that. Um, and I, this could be a few things, it's not jumping out at me, um, but I took a peek at three down. I know I said I was going to look at all the acrosses first, and I've already uh, broken that. But this jumped out at me, enough dilly-dallying. Um, something about let's go already, um, not quite long enough. So we'll take a pass on that. And a kind of milk. OK, so we're, we're just going to go along with the original plan and, and look at the acrosses again. OK, not suited for, not coming to me. Beatles song with an exclamation mark in its title. Uh, my Beatles knowledge is also not great. Um, wild thing. A wild thing could be like a beast, a wild beast. And again, let's just double check with some of the downs. Um, looks good on. Um, becomes, uh, like, like a dress can be very becoming of someone. Um, I believe. Overjoys, elates. Um, if you're elated, you are overjoyed. Um, A as in Agamemnon. Uh, I'm not sure what that's trying to get across. Agamemnon was a Greek king of mythology, I believe. Um, but I'm not sure what the rest of that. Uh, Kemper of the office. I believe this was Ellie Kemper. Uh, could I, I believe that's um she plays Aaron um in the newer seasons also uh she's in the something something Kimmy Schmidt show um fathers would be sires and lacrimose uh, I thought that meant lazy or something but it could be terse um I thought lacrimose Maybe Lacrimos is like testy. Um, just I'm looking at these these letters and all of these letters seem to um, to work. So for example, anything you suggest is fine. Um, that would translate to like I'm easy. I'm yeah. I, I think that's that's right. 
Okay, so <laughs> let's get back to the Acrosis. Let's not miss anything. Demeter's mother in myth. This is interesting because I thought it was like, um, <laughs> I should know this, but I don't. Because um, I don't think there are that many uh, Greek mothers that, that have names starting with R. So maybe Orbs is in fact wrong. And this is like sons as in like a basketball team. Okay, moving on. Singer, songwriter, Jones. Nope. Um, abbreviation on a work cited list, more crosswordy is this is et al. Like and everyone else, I believe is what that translates to from Latin. Um, direct path. Direct path. Nope, moving on. Lot of land. That could be like a plot. Um, I'm just looking through. Um, uh, not not super confident on that one. Okay, C plea. Uh, save our souls. S O S. Um, that would some something that you would plea while at sea. Okay, dole out. Uh, I believe this is like you would meet out uh, something like support. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, hmm. The end of this is looking a, a little weird. Like maybe that's an S. Yeah, I'm not. That's not looking super obvious to me at the moment. So I'm just going to move on. Okay like some cheese or some movies cheese can be aged movies can be hmm not sure toothsome <laughs> um could that be like smiley um <laughs> i don't really know what exactly that means um thin thoroughfare yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that out for now. I'm not sure smiley is even a word. I don't know who Rathskeller is. Anthropologist adjective. Like ancient or something? Oop, doesn't fit. Okay, small bits of dough. Nope. <laughs> this must be some like nursery rhyme. Owl and the pussycat. Not sure about that. Um, connecting words in logic. What, what jumped out to me was is as. Um, I can't exactly explain why that jumped out at me, but I, I think just that S at the end. Like this is to that as is. It's like it would be is to, not is as. Okay. <laughs> Baby's cry. I wonder if that's just why. Um, question to someone who looks impossibly young. Could that be, what's your secret? It does fit. Like, what's your secret? Right, Brosif. Um, uh, animal. Okay, well, moving on. Uh, blank Mysteries, The Absent Author. No, I'm not sure about that. Champing at the bit. That's like ready to go, but EO Wilson, I never heard of them. Alas. Maybe like Shane. Wimple wear. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um commonly believed misconception. And it's these two combined. Um it could be like Mm. something myth like urban legend urban not sure <laughs> apologies for the sneeze a panache would be like like flair if you do something with with panache you do it with flair go for a spin that could be any sort of spin, like bike riding, spinning the roulette reel, who knows. Symbol of Middle America. Mm. 
We'll come back to that. Emotionally disinvest oneself. I guess it could be like let go. Um, yeah, I think that might actually be right. Just let something go. Because I was looking at this chemist container should be like a flask, like an Erlenmeyer flask. That, those are those, uh, or those are beakers, but same thing. Um, uh, give a heads up would be alert. Um, Brosef could be amigo. Ooh. Uh, firing a fence would be arson. Uh, with that question mark, that means it's a pun. So uh, it's an offense in the sense of it's a crime and firing ar arsonists uh, light fires. Uh, animal, animal aptly found in feather one's nest. That must be heron. And then, yeah, alas, ah, me. Okay, that was productive. Um, let's get back to where we were. Something longhorned beetle. Atlas? Like, there's an atlas beetle, and I believe neighbors would be a butts. Um, food often served with gari, pickled ginger. Not sure about that. Okay, uh, moving on. Something avoided during awkward situations. That could be eye contact. Oh, doesn't quite fit. That would have been nice. Um, that'll be a fun one to figure out later. I'll leave that. Isolated hill. Uh, nope. Uh, they're shared between partners, one hopes. Um, like loves or... Hmm. Not sure. Extremely mean must be nasty. Theater employee would be an usher into pieces not sure fictional mister or real doctor doctor yeah I'm not sure I'll need more letters Pop popular flooring wood of course would be oak uh, ready for this once more not sure. Uh, fair part. Not sure. Cocktail made with ginger beer. That would be a mule, as in a Moscow mule. Uh, command to a dog would be sit. Um, gets busy. Mm. Okay, backs of necks is napes. Shout out to Attack on Titan. Um, Fish with a prehensile tail. Huh. I thought prehensile means like not used. So it's weird that a fish would not use its tail because usually they do use it for swimming. But maybe I'm not remembering what prehensile means. Um, but plus would be also, and perspective as an eye would be or perceptive, not perspective, would be keen, like you have a keen eye. Um, ooh, this could be seahorse. Um, but I'm not sure what would go in front of seahorse. Okay. Um, wool gatherer with a question mark. Mm. Them's fighting words, it's on. Uh, wool gatherer, hmm. ask for money. Uh, you can hit someone up for money. Okay. Get back to your crosses. Symbols of wave functions. Uh, phi's. This is, uh, this is a thing from quantum physics. Well, and other wave functions, I guess. But, yeah. Um, that's just a math symbol that is used there. One of the furies of Greek myths. Uh, I don't think Valkyrie fits here, no. Um, oh, the furies, weren't the, those like three sisters of like fate? I'm not, I'm not gonna know that off the top of my head. Um, quickly, nope. Suggest of um, this like smacks of, oh, that doesn't fit. Well, smack of, uh, it's not. Feels a little off. Uh, quaint contraction could be shall though. 
Wait, is that even a contraction? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to keep that empty for now. Excoriate. Um, that means to, like, like, yell at someone or, like, berate them. Oh, oh, no, that doesn't fit. I was like, oh, I solved it. But no. Um, oh, that's so nice of you to say. Nope. Disney Plus competitor. Of course, Hulu. Fool. Could that be CAD? Um, no, big name in elevators. I know this. It, there's like this one company that um, that does all of the elevator stuff. I think it starts with an O. Um, I'll recognize it when I see it. Um, okay, revise could be like edit, but that's not fit. Chill, Mad Hatter's event. That is a tea party, but that doesn't quite fit. Um, so I'm not sure what is going on here. So I might just leave that empty. Um, Manhattan, because this, oh, fool could be con. Um, oh, it's Otis. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Otis is the elevator company. Because I was thinking this would be NYC something. Harness part. But, um, uh, online cross market would be Etsy. Sweet dreams are made of this. And then harness part. Oh, New York, New York. Okay. It would be the rain. Okay. Making good progress. 9 a.m. service. Um, not sure. This would be Command Z is, of course, undo. Falcon's home could be like an airy. Like an airy, I think is what that's called. A fragrant compound would be an ester. Space heater with a question mark. So maybe space means like outer space. So this could be like the sun or something. Um, could be like a star. Uh, consequently would be thus. So this could be star. The letters look pretty solid. Come back. Okay, back in a way. Not sure. All right, that's that's pretty good for a first pass. Um, got it. most of the right hand side of the board. And we haven't even looked at a lot of the downs. So let's get to it. Scram. That could be like shoe. Um, I, I think this must start with let's. Um, enough delaying. This could be it. Uh, this is probably Tashi. Uh, food served with Gari. Um, isolated hill. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, oat milk. Rhea looks like a name, even though I didn't associate it with uh, Greek mythology. Direct path. Um, okay, not sure. Moving on. Uh, like some expectations. Not sure. Not sure. The yolks on them. Not sure. Not sure. This, that, and the other enters. Mm, not sure. And so on and so forth. Uh, not sure. Big bird with a question mark. Um, I'm not sure what other interpretation there is of bird. Okay, ordinary citizen. Yeah, something something looks off here. Might get rid of plot. That might be screwing me up. Um. A is an Agamemnon. Alpha, because it's Greek. Okay, this looks wrong. 
it's probably like Frank Cap Capri, maybe. Um, fathers should definitely be sires. Elades, Testy is only though. Um. Um. Yeah, Testy might be wrong, because I was thinking maybe this ends with them. I don't believe it's possible for it to be other because um, other already exists in the puzzle here. Um, otherwise, I would have thought that that was other. But um, but if it's M here, uh, I don't know what this could be. So I'm just going to leave these blank for now and just go on from here. Uh, resident of a Mideast uh, Sultanate, that would be an Omani person. This must be an M here, bottom something. Um, like some expectations, unmet expectations. Um, not suited for, could be unfit for. Uh, Nick, I'm not going to know the actor's name. Um, okay, continuing on. All right, thin thoroughfare. I'm thinking like an alley or something, but that doesn't seem right. Um, melon parts, rinds. Melons generally have rinds. A uh, brand that comes in short sleeves. Not sure. Uh, go across. Not sure, but Desmond Tutu uh, is definitely a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Uh, Sin. Tactician's drawing. Um, it would be like a tree or something, like a syntax tree. Um, but the letters do seem to work. Mm, I don't feel great about it, but I'm going to keep it. Okay, small bits of dough would be ones. Uh, dough in this case meaning uh, like dough is in money. Um, transitioning phase, not sure. Okay, connecting words and logic, maybe and. Um, uh, transitioning phrase on the fence, nope, that doesn't work. Uh, approach, could be like near, you approach something, you near it. Uh, champing at the bit, that would be eager. You're eager to do something, you're champing at the bit. Uh, flits here and there. Um, not sure. Uh, shenanigan. I was thinking like a do or mm, like some sort of fuss, but not sure. Vibe. No. Uh, the something things in life. Uh, the finer things in life. So maybe I was even more. And this would be dashi, I believe. Uh, the finer things in life. Um, a false something. Okay. Uh, principle. Not sure. Doesn't keep. Could be like rots. If some if something doesn't keep in the fridge, it could rot. Um, continue. Is really down on. Mm, it could be like hates. Um, well, carry on. Uh, really come down. Not sure. Frustrating device in an arcade. That could be like the claw in a claw machine. Those are pretty frustrating. Um, into pieces, apart. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, I guess I guess that does work because if you blow something apart, you blow it into pieces. So they do they are substitutable for each other. It's always useful to um, be careful with the tenses and stuff in crosswords, as they're always going to line up. Hopefully, unless they uh, broke the rules, really. Um, hurting. Not sure. 
kind, it could be like nice, or it could be like type. Doctor. No, I'm not sure. Dressage or a horseback rider. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how that could be a pun. So I think I'll have to come back to that. But we are getting a lot of letters there. Okay, getting top marks on. That could be like acing. I don't know if that's how you spell acing, but once more would be a new. Like you start a new, you start once more. Gets busy. Acts. Like instead of not acting, you act. Uh, flits here and there. Okay. I'll just keep going on the downs and come back to that. Betray. Mm, not sure. Wool gatherer. Oh, moth. I believe. A moth. Because you like moth balls to prevent them from eating wool. Um, I think that, that could be right. Okay, into pieces. Uh, ooh. Right. A H. That's a weird thing to start with. So, hmm. Well, moving right along. Cacophony. Uh, could be like a clamor. Ooh, <laughs> that doesn't quite fit. Um, mild expletive. That could be like darn, or like dang. Um, pioneer of the Minneapolis Sound. Not sure. Poet Gorman. Who wrote the hill we climb? Oh, uh, I was that um, the poet who spoke at the inauguration. If so, I'm I'm not gonna know off the top of my head anyway, but <laughs> could be helpful. Uh, banded rock, no. Keeps a watch on, but a pun. Not sure. Okay, stave off. Avert, you can avert danger, you can stave off danger. Quaint contraction, I shan't. Um, unusual object, not sure. Okay, last name of the boxcar children in children's literature. Gosh, I think I did read those books, but I don't remember. Part of a giggle would be like he, or it could be he, but I think it's he, like he he. Okay. Now we've looked at every single clue, clue to the best of my knowledge, and now it is time to make some more progress and just sort of jump around wherever it looks promising. So one thing I'm looking at here is this NC combination. Um, like that seems like possible to get, and they're shared between partners. Okay. Uh, I feel like this must be an I or a U. Something avoided during awkward or awkward situations. Um, to avoid. Hmm. It's not not coming to me exactly. Okay. No no matter. Um, I'm just going to click around on some of the ones that have more like unusual letter combinations. Um, like this is a color, but this doesn't quite look like any colors I know of. Um, I don't know who a wimple is. Um, go for a spin. Hmm. This is what usually happens to me on Wednesdays. Make a lot of good progress and um, find myself a little bit stuck. Um, just because there's so many areas that we can possibly look in. Um, so I'm looking here. Uh, I was thinking maybe ING. Fish. 
excoriate. Mad Hatter social event. Oh, this could be like tee hee. Okay. Um, but that doesn't quite help. Okay. Just jumping around. Ordinary citizen. Um, big bird. Enters. Direct path. For some reason, my brain is just saying bottom line, but that doesn't. Uh, this could be like Ian Malcolm. Uh, the yolks on them fried eggs. Nora Jones. Nick Nolte, I believe, is a person. Not exactly sure. Um, like some cheese or some movies. Um, graded. G rated. Oh gosh, Nolte, like that. So this is either some cheese can be graded or some movies can be G rated. Ooh, that's a that's a tricky one. Um, let's go let's get let's get down to it or something um the only problem is like usher is pretty pretty locked in there so um oh this could end with green um this could be something ing green, some like adjective green. Um, flips here and there. Galliv gallivants. Is it maybe two gallivants? Gallivants seems to like go around. Um, go for a spin could be swirl. Uh, shared between partners should be values. Uh, and, and, and I'm not sure. Really come down. Really come down. You're like sour, dour. False. Truth. Commonly believed misconception could be a false truth. I think that's a thing. On the um, but Eo Wilson maybe he was into cats. Oh, no, that doesn't. It could be ants. So okay, what I was doing there, I was looking at this, and I was like, okay, a blank t. This can't really be a consonant. Um, because a o t a i t. No, those are gonna work. Um, and then, so that means that this must be some, uh, uh, vowel and then this must be a consonant. Um, so I was just thinking what, cause originally I was thinking like cat, bat, but that's not going to work. So anyway, ants, and then shenanigan is antic. This is ants. Vibe is aura. Um, symbol of middle Ameri America. Um, uh, not sure exactly. Uh, on the oh, this doesn't uh, need to be an E. Although it looks very E-like. Um, a blank blank A. Not sure. Okay, that was, that was a good spurt of progress. Is really down on. Whoa. I'm not sure. OK, 
game. Uh, let me get rid of these. I'm not sure about those. Um, okay, all right. So now I'm like, sometimes you get yourself into these situations where um, I know that no matter what I do in the rest of the puzzle, I'm never getting extra any extra information about what's going on in this area. So I might as well just try to get it done now. And if I get stuck, I'll come back to it. But you can see no, no answer is gonna affect um, this box. Um, so what kind of, what kind of color descriptions might apply to a boat? Um, Learn turning turning green. <laughs> That's not really a good one. Brand that comes in short sleeves. I'm not sure. Okay. Rough skiller decoration. Uh, Wimple, where? Don't know what that is. Something Longhorn. Dashi might be wrong. Um, is really down on. Rise. Um. Isolated hill. Huh. <laughs> this is a somewhat bad sign. Um, if I can't get this now, um, I might just have to hope that my brain works better later, which is always a, a scary gamble. But I think I'll have to come back to it. Let my brain marinate on those. Um, anthropologists, object, adjectives, sorry. Uh, it could be like ethnic. Um, thin thoroughfare could be a lane. Lanes are not generally um, very wide. A toothsome, not sure. Um, enters. Something in, okay, fair enough. Uh, and so on and so, so forth, could be et cetera, et cetera. Um, um, and then I was wondering if this might end in a Y, like something like toothsome could be tasty because <laughs> you keep biting it. That, they have some weird words and crosswords. So, um, Oh, this could be something brother. Sheesh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why am I thinking older brother? That makes no sense, but it does fit. Um, big bird. And now I'm thinking like dairy. Like my, <laughs> my mind is just, uh, a lot of land could be an acre. An ordinary citizen could be a pleb or plebe, plebeian. Um, big bird. Fairy, Perry, Larry? Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Okay, okay. Larry Bird being a basketball player who presumably was quite tall, um, aka big. A uh, Beatles song with an exclamation. That must be help. Um, enters could be heads in. Why is it older brother? Sheesh. Why is sheesh older brother? Um, lacrimose could be sad and it could be teary. Okay. All right. All right. This is good progress. Um, all right. So, Um, my brain is still saying something about contact here, and contact. 
That's so incorrect, but principal would be tenant. Something is weird happening. Something weird is going on here, but <laughs> uh, that's a problem for a future me. Um, really come down uh, on transitioning phrase, not phase. Oh, gosh. Uh, so that would be on that note. Um, oh, gosh. Something. <laughs> What's going on here? And contact. That's just so incorrect. Um, Peoria. Really come down to be like poor. Um, gosh, why? <laughs> and contact. Something avoided during awkward situations. It would be eye contact, but <laughs> gosh, what was the name of this puzzle again? Um, oh, seven clues in this puzzle relate to their answers in a matter for you to, to discover. Counting? Um, oh gosh, expansion pack. Um, Um, okay, I, I completely didn't even look at this, but okay, paid into Eli Manning, he's the older brother. Okay, so there's something there's something else going on here. Older brother, sheesh, paid into Eli Manning, okay. Um, a, showing unlikely communicating with, oh, in contact, gallivanting. Oh, um, I wonder if they expansion pack. Like, so the right answer, I believe, should be I contact without the N. Older brother, older brother. I'm not sure. Okay. Leg cramp. Okay. So I'm definitely, maybe that's what's going on with the seahorse thing as well. Seahorse is like the right answer, but then there's other stuff mixed in. Um, so I've already got communicating with is that in contact thing, and then that's his older brother. So I'm gonna have, just have to keep that in mind next time I see a, a weird answer. Um, uh, and and hope for the best. Oh, tea party was probably another one of these. Um, I was thinking like maybe hmm, showing gratitude. Um, thanks. Maybe here. Um, Chill. That could be hang. Cacophony. Hmm. Not sure about that. Oh gosh, man, this puzzle just got a whole lot trickier. Um. I believe Dashi is correct here, but it didn't really help me with any of these other ones. It's really down on. Yeah, so maybe I was actually wrong when I said I wasn't going to get any more information about this corner, because it could be the ca case that this answer is weird because it has to do with one of these. Um, like, like, I wonder if accounting total could be like, Turning green, like ugh. it's a stretch, but I feel like I've been having good luck with these stretches, um, and just 
kind of like filling stuff in and I'm editing if I need to go across. Oh, it could be like span. So I think it's the, the letters look pretty good. Maybe a nun wears a wimple, whatever a wimple is. Um, oh, this could be putting green um, because Oh, okay. I think I see what's going on here. Um, so the actual answer to sheesh should be brother. The actual answer to this should be green. And the actual answer to this should be contact. Um, and presumably the actual answer to this should be seahorse. But we've added older putting and in and something else. So they relate older. There's, there's gotta be some like connection here, but I, I don't quite see it yet. Um, okay, that's interesting though. Um, and that makes me feel a lot better about the seahorse here. Okay, yeah, so maybe which one of these might have something to do with seahorse? I, I, I think I actually see it. It's not seahorse, actually. Uh, unlikely election winner could be like a dark horse. Um, dark seahorse? Ooh. I don't think that's... <laughs> that's right, but... Uh, so maybe that's not actually it. Um, but let me put in tea party here. Um, and what could tea party have to do with any of these? Um, showing gratitude. Leg cramp. Oh, Charlie horse would be a leg cramp. But that also doesn't work. Um, I already got this one. I already got this one. Um, I already got this one. Okay. Let's keep Tea Party in there. Um, oh, oh, maybe Aries is wrong. I, I, I put that in without being confident, and I, I forgot that it wasn't confident. Um, okay, okay, it's starting to feel more doable. I am, let's see, coming up in 40, well, I'm past 45 minutes, but I think it's possible to get the rest of this in 15 if we just figure out the theme and then snowball from there. Okay, banded rock, um, banded rock, like I'm thinking, it's like, you know, you see those cliff sides with all those striations in the rock, but I, I don't know what type of rock that is. Um, keeps a watch on. Could be like times. When you time someone, you keep a watch on them. Uh, 9 a.m. service, not sure. Revise, amend, or it could be emend. I, I forget. I think amend is with two M, so I think it has to be emend. Um, we can keep that blank, but I'll, I'll, I'll put that there for now. Um, okay, into pieces. Oh, set, asunder. Um, uh, that's so nice of you to say, giving thanks, because that would be the showing gratitude, giving thanks. This is a really weird theme, because like giving thanks is just so similar to the original meaning of showing gratitude. So it's like it, it, it didn't feel like much of a transformation, but maybe maybe there's a reason for that. Um, Uh, quickly, I should be able to get this. Okay. Uh, uh, 
at a run. Pioneer of the Minneapolis sound. Could a Jewish be Prince? <laughs> like, like the musician? Um, oh gosh. This doesn't look correct. Um, Nottingham Service. Worst terse, purse, lurse, merse, nurse. Uh, none of that looks great. That's a little worrying because it's stuck in this corner, which won't get much easier, but we'll see. Okay. Um, what if I put smack of back? I had that all the way back in the beginning, and Amanda looks great. Um, cacophony. Clangor? <laughs> Clangor, is that a word? Um, um, one of the Furies, mild expedit, expletive, like frick. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, betray, backstab. There we go. All right, that's a big one. Uh, Toti party. I'm not sure. Falcon's home. Maybe this is eerie, like that. But no, let's get rid of it. It was it was messing me up. I think. Back in a way. Um, not sure. Excoriate. Last name of the box of our children. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I've made a lot of progress. So I'm just going to go and like make sure I'm not missing any um, clues that I haven't looked at in a while that are now like obvious because of all the new letters. Um, Brad's got decoration. Like all I can think of is like stern, but that's not, or like stowns. I'm thinking this must be a, like could it be, Stain? No, this must be let's go or let's get. Uh, let's get. Let's get. Let's go. Let's go in, let's get in, no, I'm not sure, okay, fair enough, uh, I'm not sure about that, okay, isolated, oh, I'm not sure, fictional mystery, um, Reading, I'm sure, okay, fair part, um, fair part, could be like a, like a fair, like a state fair, you know, but I still don't know what that would map to, um, okay, this one looks like one of those weird ones, so let's think, leg, leg cramp, Yeah, I almost just want to put in Charlie Horse. Oh, what is this? On that note. Oh. Um, char. Okay. Mild ex expletive would be heck. Um, what if it is? Char Seahorse? Like that? <laughs> but heck is probably right so kind could be sort like what sort of person are you what kind of person are you I thought it was elect um dressage um 
Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, gosh, that looks a little off. Excoriate. Are any of these up for debate? Not really. Moth could be wrong. I'll, I'll put that up for now. Um, Char Seahorse? Older brother. T. T. Unlikely. Yeah, not sure. 9 a.m. service. Um, uh, uh, not coming to me. Uh, yeah, not, not sure there. Falcon's home. Let's put Eerie back, see if that elucidates anything. All right, back in a way. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Brand that comes in short sleeves. Row, short sleeves. Not sure, is really down on. Could swirl be wrong? It could be whirl. And then hates. Let's get. Let's go. Um, uh, a butte could be an isolated hill. Sushi. Aslan, as, uh, let's get on with it, um, Steen, Stern, where's Oman, yeah, okay, um, oh, oh gosh, this cross is looking a little Difficult. Um, St Stern, Stetson, Stein, Stein, Rith, right? Uh, oh gosh, this is not looking like something I can get. All right, time check. Ooh, getting close to that, that hour mark, but I think we have a chance here at least, which is pretty exciting because I rarely do have a chance. Um, fair part. Um, I'm not sure. Excoriate. Man, it would be great if I understood what the theme was. <laughs> If if many if Minneapolis is where Prince is from, then that must be Prince. Stave off, avert, asunder, times. What letter could that be? Ver Agave? Banded rock. Okay, well, that's not, agave is not rock. Um, part of a giggle. Back and away. Um, unusual object. Could be like a Unusual object. Man, I really don't understand this theme. Communicating with in contact. Oh, it's like the first letter, so it's actually O oh, brother. 
eye contact, pea green, G thinks, T party, C horse, Charlie horse, C horse, T party, is the actual answer, theme party, could be, um, maybe not theme party, but, um, okay, G thinks, it's like the first letter and then, first letter pretend it's a word and then the, the last word, that's kind of weird, but, um, a direct path would be a B line. Okay, so that's bottom line is counting total. So I got that one. In contact is eye contact and also um, communicating with. O oh, brother, older brother. So I've got these three. Leg cramp is that Char Charlie horse, seahorse. Showing gratitude um, is giving thanks. Unlikely election winner should be dark horse. Um, no, because I already got the horse-based thing. This is P green. Unlikely election winner. Um, uh, third party, third party would be an unlikely election winner. Okay, higher. Um, I'm back in a way. Okay. Could be like something shirt. Excoriate, scave. Um, unusually, unusual object would be a curio. Back in a way is the Bet on, Alden. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting very close. I believe in us. So we're at the one hour mark. I did say that was somewhat of a hard stop, but considering how few spaces we have left, this seems um, like we have a chance. Um, Mr. Could it be like Mr. <laughs> Stork and Dr. Stork? Um, hurting, or that could be ache. Um, Dr. Spock, and there's a real Dr. Spock? Um, okay. Um, fair part could be a booth. You have booth set fairs. Uh, polo shirt, electo. Okay, whatever. Um, polo shirt for a horseback rider, dressage. I don't, I don't know why that's a pun, but whatever. Okay, okay, we have three squares left. And it's looking possible, although there are some things, like I don't know what Peoria is, so that might be evidence of an incorrect uh, answer somewhere. But um, yeah, okay, okay, let's just start from here. Um, could anything be wrong here? Go across, span seems really correct, but it could be wrong. Um, Let's get on with it. Seems like locked in. That must be right. Um, Rathskeller decoration. Like it sounds like some sort of artist. Um, go across. Gosh, span just seems so correct there, though. The letters feel okay. Um, it could be like that. Adam Mysteries? No, because TM. Okay. Brand. Right, righto, rutto, rooty, root, roach, rate, rato, rato, rati, righty. Reet, 
rate rita rota roti none of those seem like brands <laughs> um uh it could be an abbreviation so this this could be a consonant so it could be like r r t t um but i feel like i would have heard of something like that before comes in short sleeves brand that comes in short sleeves okay um decoration rathskeller decoration stern steen stein i just put this here um Steon, Stein, Steon, Steen, Stain, Stoon. Like Stein is definitely a word, but I don't know why that. Maybe that. Ooh, brand that comes in short. Oh, I was gonna say Ritz, but gosh, that oh, Ritz is not. Oh, short sleeve. Oh my gosh, Ritz crackers. And this A to Z mysteries, okay, because absent author, so all alliterations and span. Okay, so we only have one square left. Of course, I could, assuming everything else is correct, I could just spam letters in here and hope for the best, but I, I would at least like to think of a, a good guess. Um, okay, 9 a.m. service. Um, worse. Uh, worse, terse, years, yearsy, percy, lursy, um, sirs, sirs, first, gers, <laughs> hersey, hers, jers, curse, lurs. None of these are quite, um, They're not quite words. Gosh. Um, could any of these be wrong? Assuming Prince is correct. Okay. Banded rock. Banded rock. Um, like a agate or something seems like a rock to me. I just don't know what terse is. 9 a.m. service. Like terse. Um, a a <laughs> that like that it it rings a bell in my mind. It's like this like in my mind I'm picturing like a pink rock with like bands through it. So I could just put T there, but I just don't know what terse is. What's my time at one hundred six fifty four? All right. Well, I think I might just put a T in. Um, and, and hope for the best. And if that's wrong, I'm going to do a check of everything else in the puzzle and then come back to this. But let's do it. <laughs> so close. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So. I really don't want to like spam. I know, I know. It's the same letter. <laughs> I don't want to like spam letters in here. Um, but I, I'm worried that I might have to. Like, electo looks wrong. Clangor doesn't quite feel like a thing. Um, and this is where my like distaste for. Sunday puzzles kind of comes in because it's just so easy to have like some weird thing in here that you never looked at or that you haven't looked at in like forever. Um, okay, I'm just going to go through really quick. Um, Frank Capra, I feel like it's Capri, Frank, Frank Capri. 
but Teary just seems to work, so I don't think I want to change that. Um, SOS, meat out, older brother, grated, tasty, I'm easy. Stein is a little, a little suspect, but everything else looks right. Ethnic ones, put in green, ands, wa. A to Z, eager, ants, ah me, or it could be oh me, nope, alert, and none, false, truth, flare, whirl, Peoria, okay, looks a little suspect, but um, everything else looks good, let go, Asian, in contact, arson, butte, values, Nasty, Usher, Apart, Spock, Oak, Ready for This, A New, Booth, Mule, Sit, Act, Charlie Horse, Slash Seahorse, Size, Electo, Looks Wrong, It could be elect Electo, I meant, no, no, um, It's On, At a Run, Smack, Scathe, G Thanksgiving thanks. Hulu Khan. Amend. Chill. Third party. Yeah, terse. That just looks so wrong. Um, undo. Airy. Rain. Esther. Star. Bet on. And Etsy. Okay. 9 a.m. service. 9 a.m. service. Like service could be like a tennis serve. Um, agave is a, it's just not a rock, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Pioneer of the Minneapolis sound. It's got to be Prince. It's just got to be. Um, and it's got to be Times. Keeps a watch on. Could it not be at a run? It could be like in a run. Huh. Banded rock. Ga, a gear, a gate, a gape, a gale, a gaze, a, a gade, <laughs> a gaze, a gate. <laughs> a, a gale, a gaze, a gaze, agave. <laughs> oh gosh, I I really feel like this is the one thing I have wrong. Um, okay, I think I might just be reduced to spamming letters here. Um, yep. So I'm just gonna go through the alphabet, QWERTY order, of course, and to see if it might be one of those things where once I see it, it'll be obvious, but yeah, not, not the most fun way to, to end a Sunday if this ends up working, although, oh no, it looks like that was not the secret. Um, um, yeah, that did not do it. Um, so it, it could just be that terse is correct and there's something else wrong, like, you know, it's electo. Well, unfortunately, let's look at the time. One <laughs> thirteen. I believe it may be time to call it here. Um, I'm going to give another once over to the puzzle, but I might have to go and like check it.
Um, so I'm going to put it to um, as as close as I can get to something I think is accurate, and then um, from there I, I'll I'll check puzzle. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, on that note, char char. Is it Charlie Horse on that note? Ooh. Um, well, that still doesn't help. <laughs> Char no way you spell Charlie Horse. Oh, it's Char- A E. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I, was so, I was so close to giving up. But it was just one of those things where you, like, you type in something wrong, like, oh my gosh. So I actually was correct um, when I first filled it in. I just I just spelled Charlie wrong. And, and that... Um, yeah, wow. Well, that's awesome. That that is my first Sunday win. It was definitely over an hour. Um, but I am definitely going to admire this puzzle. And I think it's worth giving a quick review now that I've gotten all the way through it. Yeah. So how blessed am I to get my first uh, Sunday solve on on camera as it were. Um yeah, in, in general, I would say the fill in this puzzle was actually pretty solid. Um, there were some, you know, suspect parts uh, within. There's a little bit of, like, proper noun crossing going on over in this area. I don't know what terse is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look that up over in, a, in another tab. Oh, gosh, yeah. It, if you look it up... Um, it is literally like, that's just the definition. Um, I'm not sure how many people know that off the top of their head, um, but I certainly don't. And, oh, let's also look up what this thing is. Um, let's bring that over. This is what agate is, agate? Uh, Agate? <laughs> no idea how to pronounce that, but it is indeed a banded rock. Um, so that little bit of knowledge was indeed in my head, I guess. Um, overall, I would say this is a pretty successful uh, Sunday puzzle. Um, Peoria was also a word I didn't know, but this one felt fairly crossed. Like all of the crosses here were normal words. So even if you don't know this word, you can get it through the crosses without um, too much trouble. Uh, a to Z is is pretty tricky there, but in hindsight, it's fairly fair. It was clued reasonably with this absent author thing. But I guess most importantly is like the theme. You saw, I mean, I, I assume everyone was paying attention to this whole video. And I feel like um, it was an interesting theme. Um, I sort of like learned more about what was going on as I went. Um, I would say it wasn't like a mind-blowing theme or anything. It was sort of interesting. Um, it gave you that feel of like, wow, well, like something's something's weird here, but I'm not sure exactly what's going on. And I think that's where that intuition of, or not intuition, but that that attitude of like, okay, it looks like this phrase or whatever, and I'm just gonna put that in and see what happens. Um, was really helpful when when themes come into play like that. So for example, like this older brother thing, I was like, well, it looks like older brother. I don't know how that relates to the clue, but I'm just going to put that in and then see what happens. I think that was really helpful for filling in these corners. Uh, same thing with like bottom line. Um, I was like, I'm not sure. <laughs> like that, that doesn't seem like it has anything to do with uh, direct path, but it certainly looks like it says bottom line. Anyway, um, you know, this is first in hopefully a longish series of videos of me solving crosswords. Um, and, you know, if, if you've been listening, falling asleep to this, then uh, good on you. Uh, anyway, hopefully I do more of these in the future. And until then, I'll see ya.